Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Boy, we, see, we are seeing some pretty breezy conditions here at Wallops this morning. With those winds gusting up to around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Uh, we have a wind advisory posted and we'll likely see that wind advisory in effect through the remainder of the day as those winds uh, stay above that 25 knot criteria. We are seeing partly cloudy skies as a result of a northwest flow that has developed around a uh, area of low pressure that has moved off to the northeast. You can see here on the current surface analysis that area of low pressure off the northeast coast this morning. And we are seeing those closely, closely packed isobars uh, with the pressure gradient fairly tight over the region. That northwest flow, again, uh, clearing us out quite nicely last night with those clouds. And we are seeing uh, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies today. And uh, we'll continue with that uh, similar sky condition throughout the remainder of the day today. I'm going to take a look at our upper level wind data from this morning's uh, balloon release. You can see that wind uh, increasing with height all the way up to 25,000 feet where we see a west-northwest wind at 101 knots. And at the low levels of the atmosphere, fairly uh, stiff winds there as well. 1,000 foot level seeing winds out of the northwest at 25 knots. Freezing level this morning was at 3,700 feet. I want to take a quick look here at our live cam. You can see those uh, cumulus clouds out there this morning at around 4,000 feet. And uh, we are seeing uh, quite a few of those uh, cumulus clouds develop and, and move quickly over the area with that stiff uh, wind at the lower levels of the atmosphere. You can see uh, those clouds uh, moving pretty quickly this morning across the uh, skyline as, uh, as that northwest flow really uh, moves them along uh, fairly quickly this morning. Looking at the uh, European model, you can see here what we can expect over the next few days across the uh, eastern United States. Again, that area low pressure will continue to move off to the northeast. High pressure building in tomorrow and providing us with a dry day uh, for our Saturday. Wind should uh, lighten up a bit as well as we go into the overnight tonight and into your day on Saturday. We will see uh, fairly cool conditions, though, continuing into the weekend uh, just a couple degrees cooler than what we typically see this time of year, but uh, for tomorrow, we're only looking at a high of around 60 degrees, partly cloudy skies to start the day, and then we'll start to see some clouds move in in association with the upper level energy moving in from the southwest. We will see mostly cloudy skies by tomorrow evening, and then for your uh, Sunday, starting to see a little bit of a chance of some precipitation potentially impacting the region during the early morning hours, not expecting anything significant and only about a 20% risk of those occurring. As we go through the day on Sunday and then on Monday, we're going to start to see another uh, little impulse move through the region uh, during the uh, day on Monday, providing us with another chance of some precipitation. Not expecting anything heavy out of this as well, just some light showers possible during the day. And then it looks like Tuesday will likely shape up to be a uh, a pretty nice day as we'll see warm temperatures and uh, looking to be a, a pretty sunny day as well on Tuesday ahead of this next system that impacts the region on Wednesday. So we'll see uh, a potential for some showers and maybe even some thunderstorms as this front moves through uh, Wednesday night with cooler conditions behind the front for the end of the week. I want to take a look here at our uh, Next 24 hours and what we can expect, again, windy conditions with the uh, likely scenario there for uh, winds over 25 knots continuing into the afternoon. This evening, we'll see the winds uh, die down as the sun sets. And then overnight tonight, expecting northwest winds just at around 6 to 12 knots by midnight, then northwest at 5 to 10 knots after midnight tonight. See those temperatures uh, maxing out at around 62 degrees today, dropping to around 44 for the overnight hours. And then for the next seven days, we're looking at uh, pretty tranquil conditions overall. We'll see uh, really only two shots of precipitation uh, through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. So sunny skies today, sunny skies to start the day on Saturday with those clouds moving in and that slight chance of a light rain shower or sprinkle early Sunday morning. Uh, throughout the day on Sunday, we should see dry conditions with those rain chances really coming to an end fairly early during the day on Sunday, a high of 62 degrees expected. And then for Monday, again, about a 30% chance of a few isolated showers, not expecting anything uh, real significant with the precipitation on Monday as well, uh, with a tenth of an inch or less expected for both that Sunday morning uh, 
chance of rain and also your chance on Monday. Warmer temperatures expected on Tuesday will get up to a high of 68 degrees under partly cloudy skies. And we'll see a chance of some showers and thunderstorms with that frontal passage on Wednesday. Could see a little bit of energy uh, early in the day as well, uh, providing us with a chance of some showers. But the best chance will be late in the day on Wednesday as that front looks to move across the region, providing us with cooler conditions by Thursday. You can see a low of 41 by Thursday morning and a high of 60 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again Monday morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.